All right, so we're going to combine Boyle's law, Charles's law, Amontan's law, and Avogadro's law just to one equation. All right, we're going to use it. Just that's it. So just uh, don't uh, forget that the unit of pressure, volume, and amount of gas can be anything. So as long as P1, P2, they have the same unit. V1, V2, N1, N2, they have the same unit. They'll cancel out, except the temperature has got to be in Kelvin. Okay. All right. So let's try this one. So a weather balloon filled with 100 liter of helium uh, is launched from the ground level. There's a temperature, there's a pressure. Okay. And uh, so that's a situation one. Now, situation two, no gas added or removed. So N is this, this, uh, this sentence says that more is the same. So N1, N2 is the, the same. Okay. Uh, no gas uh, is added or removed from the balloon during its flight. Calculate its volume. So looking for volume at V2, uh, at altitude of 10 kilometers. So 10 kilometers, where the temperature and pressure is the balloon are negative 52 degrees Celsius, 195 torr. All right. So this situation two. Oh, basically what we just same, same thing, same, same thing we've done before. Okay. So convert a degree Celsius to Kelvin first. So plus, uh, 273, you get that number. Same thing with T2. We're going to use Kelvin. So do that right now early. All right. Uh, no gas is added or removed. So N1, N2 the, the, uh, are the same, equal. You can cancel them out. We want to solve for V2. So V2 right here. So I'm going to move anything uh, that is not V2 to the, to the other side. So T2 to the top, P2 to the bottom. So V2, you should get this equation. Okay, to rearrange it. And right now we plug in. So P1, V1. So P1 is seven, uh, 755 torr right there v2 100 100 liter right there temperature 293 kelvin all right now t2 221 kelvin put right there p2 195 tor put down there now you're going to see the unit that cancel out perfectly tor and tor kelvin and kelvin you'll be uh you end up with liter which is the unit of volume perfect that's what we want all right i uh, do the math right there so you should get that number uh, three six fix. So make it three six fix. Write them down. There we go. All right. That shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, this. I mean, it's just a uh, simple math there. All right. All right. One more time. One more time. So, <clears throat> um, a gas with a temperature of two hundred eighty Kelvin. All right. A pressure of two hundred kilopascal. Uh, and a volume of twenty five point eight liter. All right. All right. So that's the uh, situation one. It's compressed to 15.8 liter. All right, so we compress to 15.8 liter, um, causing the pressure to increase to 350 kilopascal. What is the temperature, the gas under the new condition? Looking for temperature, all right? So in this case, it doesn't mention anything about uh, the moles, right? The amount of gas, so it lo looks like nothing uh, leaking. So I'm gonna assume that N1 and N2 are the same. So cancel them out. One to solve for T2. All right, uh, T1 is in Kelvin, so we're good. Uh, I'm moving T2 to the left side, T1 to the top, P1, V1 to the bottom. So you should get that. All right, plug in real quick. So P2, uh, 350 kilopascal. So I'm, I'm stick, I'll, I'll keep kilo in there, all right? Because P1 also keep kilo. Uh, V2, V2 is 15.8 liter. All right, T1, uh, 280 Kelvin right there. P1 is 200 Kelvin, uh, kilopascal, and V1, 25.8 liter. There we go. All right, kilopascal cancel out, liter cancel out. Do the math right here, you should get that number. Um, three, six, fix. Yep, they are three, six, fix, so write them down. So 300 Kelvin. All right, shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, this is a straight math, all right? So uh, uh, don't get confused anything here. But if you confuse, but don't, don't be shy, let me know. I can explain this again. Okay, uh, class activity four. Let's see if you uh, can do this. All right, answer there, answer there. So make sure you show your work. All right, we're moving to an ideal gas law, another equation. 